let's see, we're waiting on one more uh, ATA board member. So we have a quorum. <clears throat> I just sent an email to um, David Letourneau and Sheriff Detman. <clears throat> I know David said he could make it. And do you have the ability to send a text? I did. I sent a an email to both of them, but I'm reaching out to Lillian. Um, Sheriff Dedman's assistant. I don't have a cell number for him. <clears throat> I think if I had a number for David Letourneau, but I don't think I do. <laughs> Holly, do you have any um, suggestions how we should proceed if we don't get one more? Um, unfortunately, if we can't get a quorum, we might need to push this off. Um, I know we've got the regular meeting coming up, and um, this is up for suggestion. We might need to push it off to the next um, meeting if we can't get a quorum today. Mm, 
we'll have to probably do something interim because the next meeting is not till June 17th mm -hmm. and these grants have to go out and get funded before June 30th. So, okay. Um, and another option, if we have to reschedule, we could meet at 9 a.m. on uh, Friday, okay. an hour before. Okay. If Well, that works for me. I don't know about everybody else. Well, you would think that would work. Does that work for you, Brad Conley, if we have to push it back? Yeah, that's fine. Can you hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. <clears throat> I could also try to get Brian Wright on the phone if you want me to real quick see if he could come on. He's not on the subcommittee, though. I don't, how do we? Oh, that's, oh, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> he wouldn't have really mm. had a chance to yeah. review the notices. I mean, the uh, grants. Check again. I see uh, Commander Penzi from Apache Junction join the call. We're just waiting on a, a quorum, Commander. We have to have three members. I am here. And somebody's right outside my office. So I'm going to be listening, but I have to deal with her. Okay. We may have to delay this but, meeting. But we miss, don't have a quorum. Okay. Misty's on too. So, but I'll, I can hear you. I'm just going to be dealing with somebody right here. Got it. Right Okay, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Um, just made sure my cell phone was on in case Sheriff Dedman's assistant called back. <clears throat> right well <clears throat> i'm not hearing back from
David Letourneau or Sheriff Dedman. David Letourneau did respond that he'd be able to attend. Um, so we can try for nine o'clock. I don't anticipate this meeting will take more than 30, 45 minutes. So we should have plenty of time for the board meeting. Um, we'll just have to repost agendas and come up with a new date and just repost everything by 9 a.m. Thursday. <clears throat> Sounds good. So we'll work on that. Um, in the meantime, I guess if either of you, um, Chief Solberg or Brad Conley, have any questions about the grants, you can reach out to me between now and Friday, see if I can answer or head off any questions. Um, anything else? Um, the only question I, I have is on the uh, VIN etching for the catalytic converters. I hadn't heard of it working on those. Is that, are they trying or has that been tested and that actually works? It, it the insta etch um chief the insta etch um system that we've been funding for the glass etching um has had the capability to do the metal to etch on metal we've even done a couple of tailgates and uh tire rims um and so this would this is the same capability <clears throat> same okay. system sounds good that was my only question okay all right, well, in the sake, so I don't keep everybody, I know your time is precious. Um, I We will hopefully reconvene on Friday at nine. All righty. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Thank you, Chief. Yep. See you guys. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>